there.
Артем, стой у нас. Left across the square. Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artem been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself. With my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the natural? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artem. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. The road archons are just in time. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. Well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. <coughs> <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? 
ten years. <coughs> we'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture threat. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters Stop taking putting delusions into risks. his head. I don't we want him going crazy like you. Like Artyom, I can't even person. sleep since you told him all those silly That's stories. Exactly why they go up there. They is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my more. son There's alone. Us, and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. You might come back to help us. Uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering them. And now nobody gets to decide for me. Who knows? Maybe they find some secret maps in D6 that can be destroyed. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave us a sneak, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Hello, how you are the nurses in the hospital, out, huh? You just stopped crowding him. Uh, Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like So this. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. beach or in a green forest but what good are these fantasies in a silent world silent Artyom because it's dead we took our time time to replace our filters move it we don't need any extra radiation darling will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. Thank you. 
We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. So, the pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. 
Watchmen broke through. The workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the open. If you come through, shoot. <gasps> What's that noise? Attention! The turntable is switching on. Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Wait. You'll have 
to take it down. Can you do it quietly? Wait, wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Do you see? 
It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Moving. Here, quick! Let's go! All unauthorized Who are you? Andre Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I have get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. <laughs> This place 
You're fooling with these cats! <laughs> Thank you. 
guards won't let us get away. We have to do it. Until the enemy is on you. This is problem with guards. They do something about the guards, please. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. together.
Bosses, over. Roger that, base, over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is don't this the you dare right? give me room, soldier. Don't you dare. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Honor. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? What are you doing here? Talk about surprise. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line. No, oh, shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, about, there are people sir, it's from, it's from it's other it's cities, it's dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this not my this call, and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The leaves no one behind. He's He's not not bad. Bad. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Are you fucking kidding me? 
we? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you cutting, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
<sighs> now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Face. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen! 
Send everyone. Dash, five. I repeat. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code one. So it is somewhere around here. The Yamantal Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Just a moment. I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How about on! Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to yeah! Yeah! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, Full oh, steam yeah. ahead. We wow, that's some ahead. distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh. Intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! <laughs> Shut 
Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Are you all right, Artyom? Damn! That pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup. No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I gotta check out that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Let's go, Artyom. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Damir, get the perimeter. Yes, sir. Epic. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. <laughs> I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Ah, that was great. Let's try to stay close to each other. Hey, Artyom, what is Anna? I thought you guys went to the church. Did something happen? No. Then you better get it over with. You know how the colonel likes to go to the down from me. Artyom, don't wander off. What would you do if some beast came and ate your wife? Yeah, 
by my father.
watch out not to go after myself. Shit. Huh? Is there some ass? There's a boat at the dock. Looks like it's the locals' preferred method of transportation. All right, I'll climb up there while you take the boat and row to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg.
Dwellers won't even talk to heretics, but I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all a that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentius fooled them just like the locals, but unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here, and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one. Artyom, she's Father Salantius to take it all like he does. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! What the hell is he? Walk back in the mountains! Oh. 